Product generation starts with innovation, but what is innovation? Innovation is a unique, a new, a different way of thinking, doing and creating. And where do ideas then come from? They can come from asking questions, there to be a, a need for change or being forced into change, and quite often inadequacy. Um, entrepreneurs could also have that light bulb moment or have that eureka moment and then generates that idea and they can kickstart things from there. So ideas can be split up into different categories. So first of all, we've got something new. So this is something completely brand new, something that's never been brought to the market before. It's a brand new idea, a brand new conception. An example of this is Amazon. Before Amazon, there was nothing else like it. It's a one-stop shop for anything and everything at the touch of a button with an insanely quick delivery. Another category um, is a different use. This talks about products or services that are out there that have been introduced to the market previously for something specific and someone has come up with a concept to use that base idea and use it for a different purpose. An example of this is green screen technology, seeing it's used in TV and film. So that a, a student saw that there was a scope to have a different use for this, um, and it would help identify fouls in rugby and, and football at contact sports. And still to this day, the green screen technology uh, is used to identify fouls in contact sports. Another idea category is the improving category. So something that does already exist, but there might be a gap in the market that's identified at a later date or something that is constantly being improved essentially. An example of this is Adidas. So when the first pair of Adidaslers um, running spikes were introduced that were made from like tough leather and steel spikes and that isn't something that we would see today being released from that company. If you had to go and look at them, the, the options available for Adidas trainers in any kind of high street shoe shop just now you would see that there's a wide variety there and Adidas are all was updating their trainers based on current market trends and styles and what consumers are looking for. So they are falling into that improving category. So there are different methods and techniques that you can use to begin thinking about creating an idea. And one of these methods or techniques is the scamper technique. So I'll, I'll break down um, each part of scamper. So the S um, stands for substitute. And that's replacing one part of the product with another that works better. C is for combine, so putting different components together to improve a product. A is for adapt, update the product to new customer preferences. M is for modify, to change how the product looks, its appearance, its presentation. P is to put to another use, so use a product for a, for a purpose for which it's not designed. E is for eliminate, to get rid of parts that are almost useless or not valued by clients. And your R is reverse, so deconstruct the product or rethink some of its main pillars. So once you've got your idea, or even if you have a group of ideas, you've perhaps applied the scamper technique. At this stage, you would then be looking to carry out a SWOT analysis. So a SWOT analysis is based on strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. But strengths and weaknesses are internal, so it's relating to the product itself and that the, the internal part of the organisation, the business itself, and the opportunities and threats relate to external factors. So I hope you can take on board some of the information and suggestions within this video to help with your idea generation. Please like and subscribe for more and tune in next week for your online presence. Thank you.